Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Okay, friends, so today is the second day of the Friendly Abyss event with the new jury that has dropped the baddest jury and we're gonna go and check the teams that I have built or I'm using to defeat the bosses today we have two bosses that we are defeating which is two chun -Li's, the athlete chun -Li and the flame chun -Li. and when you reach high uh, amounts of damage they will hit very hard and eliminate you we will check what teams I'm using as free to play if you want to have an insight about these teams that we are using as free to play and many free to play are doing well similar teams I'll be showing you also the alternatives if you want to do them if you don't have the units that is available for me so first of all I got my Vega finally to triple S I got his cars on him the Visconti Vega absolutely insane unit I love him so much he's great and I was uh, happy when I got him I still have the clip, so I'll play it for you and my reaction when I got him. So let's hop into it. So, come on, it's time. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Vega, come to me, please, please. Don't let me spend all the resources, please. Come on. Come home. Come home. Yes. Finally. Oh my God. Holy jelly beans. Let's go. Is it you? Did I pull something else? It's you. <laughs> it's you. Thank you. God, oh my God, oh, where are you? Here we go, dip, dip, awaken, yes, a police, finally, okay, okay, this is a game changer, let me slap the cars now, let's go, <laughs> yeah, that was basically it, that was it, absolutely <laughs> i was happy i enjoyed it i was summoning him and i said let let me record it maybe i'll get him and uh, because i've been recording like two videos trying to summon for him and i'm not getting him and now i just recorded this one and i got him so uh congratulations for everybody who got their characters that they desire so let's go and talk about the boss now these bosses a little bit hard these two chumlies uh, the thing about them is they deal insane amount of damage when you reach almost 500 million and above with these levels with our battle lust so I will show you the battle lust that I'm using now of course as I said before damage attack are the best things for you to go with but since we're playing a lot of bleed and shock and flame these are the main components that I'm uh, uh, playing so I maxed the Raksha uh, Rakshasa tree which is the three so now I deal even more damage with bleed, with shock, and with thunder. And thunder and bleed uh, uh, and uh, flame, I deal with viper, bleed with Vega, uh, flame alone with fire Adon and with Dalsim. So these all synergize with my lineups. If you have different lineups, if it's all let's say trigger, you can use these uh, this uh, power focus for the trigger factions. Now, of course, always max out the battle cry. The battle cry is the most important one in the tree, early game, mid game, late game, throughout the bosses, because it's the one that will improve your combo three or your combos with the attack and the damages that you'll deal. So always focus on this one and uh, upgrade it. This is the secret one here to get you the highest results. And everything is, I took one, one, one in to attack and damage, except this one, I had two couple points. So I use them to buff my bonus damage because if I buff my attack, it goes to 4%. Buffing the damage goes to 6%, which is absolutely good. It's a 3% more or 2% uh, more, which is good for me at a lower stage. I don't care about the crit. One point in crit rate here and there will help you and crit damage here and there will help you. You can go all in on the crit rate and crit damage now let's go and talk about the teams now i got the milestone you need to go with the milestone the achievements at least to 2.3 billion damage so this is the one that you want to focus on so you need to focus on this and this will put you in the top 50 probably the top 10 if you check the rankings i think everybody in the top 10 got to okay no but yeah 2.3 i think two players are missing the 2.3 they will do it later, probably everybody in, is, are not focusing on that unless it's by the end of the uh, fight. It means tomorrow, uh, last time that you can do it today and tomorrow you have the time to do that. So let's go and check my teams 
and currently I'm ranking 4. Of course I'm gonna drop because I don't have uh, Flame Chun and Flame Chun is a main component in the first team which I'm playing here. I start with Rose, 3 Poison, Rose then Fire Aedon, then I continue all my combo, uh, my rotation because I'm using uh, Kami and Vega EX move. I continue with Honda, 3 Poison, Rose then Fire Aedon until the end of the battle. Now slap with Jury on him. He will gain life steal, so he can tank and he will not die and your team will survive more. I did this with a couple of tries. I got 1.1, 1.2, but this is the highest that I got, 1.4. And you can go to higher and higher if he keeps surviving because the burn will burn both chun -Li's. Now, the second team, I'm using Visconti Vega. And this is not the best score, but yet it's similar because the best score was, I think, 800 million. So you can go to the 1 billion even with this low investment on them and I'm speaking low investment because you need soul power on uh, Visgon de Vega focus on him get him to two stars he's absolutely perfect if you get the soul power and Summer Elena at SS she works perfectly you can use her at one copy she still works because she heals the spells blah 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 uh, and she's a trigger but at SS she will become immune to damages when she drops into the fight this is the point that you want to get her there one copy of Goken all you need it will protect your lineup at least for this moment now here you can use Suit Able, but I want to synergize with more attack because more attack on Vega will deal more damage. So I try to continue the combo tree with four uh, characters from the faction of the uh, Wind. And I have Goken from the Master faction, which is neutral, so it will help. And this Grande Vega is infernal, so it will give me the buff of defense. And I'm using the trigger uh, characters, so I'm using uh, Yan and Yang. Yang, uh, Yang. Yan use him on Summer Elena, and Yang use him on Visconde Vega to buff his attacks more and more. Now, and the rotation is Visconde Vega, Abel, uh, Goken, then Visconde Vega. When Goken dies, because Abel is the last one to sort of, uh, to stay in the in the fight, you can start with Visconde Vega, wait a little bit, then use the C1 of Abel, then the C2 of Visconde Vega, so you don't miss the timing. Now, the second lineup, or the third lineup. Um, I switched Fashion Blanca here and I put Chun Li and I put Fashion Blanca on the other team. Why? This was a strategic move if you want to call it that way because it will help you get the combo meter until the end of the battle. So Dalsim will deal the amount of damage that you need because Dalsim come short a little bit. The, the power that you will do with, uh, uh, with Fashion Blanca, it will go to 300 million, maybe less, maybe more a little bit, but it will never reach the 500 million or 400 million mark. I did. Uh, reach 600 million in one run actually it was the first team I was testing him and it was a great success so I will be showing you in the replay how I used him now of course I did a small mistake here I should switch DiCapri on uh, Chun Li now you can use Hugo because he helps with the potato with his assist but play Mayor Cody on Dalsim I forgot to do that because I was playing Mayor Cody on my Fire Aedon and I switched it later. So play Mayor Cody, he will deal even more damage because his attack will increase. Now the rotation, it will be starting with Chun-Li, but in some specific timing. And then uh, C1 from uh, Dalsim, C2 from Summer Yang, then C3 from Chun-Li. Then we start with Dalsim, Summer Yang, Chun-Li, then Dalsim. And we start with Chun-Li, Summer Yang, Dalsim, or uh, Summer Yang, Chun-Li, Dalsim. Or we start with Dalsim. Summer Yang, Chun Li, Dalsim, depending on the situation, who's in the front if Bison is not tanking when he's exploding. So, if you don't like this team and it's not consistent for you, this is full free to play. If you want to use some other team, if you built Baddest Jury, you can use her. She goes well with trigger units or with the trigger, uh, uh, with characters that have trigger characteristics, such as Trendy Akuma. Trendy Akuma, when he obliterate people with his annihilation, it will be buffed to the max with her. So you can use him and abuse him here. Now you can use Trendy Guile, you can use Chief Viper. She works, not the same amount of damage, but she works. You can use Oni. Oni deals insane amount of damage here, and he's an AoE character. Now Trendy Kami is one that I love to use on this kind of setup because it will be so much helpful. So you can have somebody else like Athi Chun-Li with the C1, C2 from Suit Able and C3 from Trendy Kami with her super. It works or the super of, let's say a baddest jury and then ending with the C3 of Trendy Kami. It also works, but it will require a lot of timing. You will miss the shock. If you want to go back to back, back to back, you need to start with Trendy Kami. So you can use somebody else, but this is how it works. Now the new Hugo with the C1 also works, Wrestling Hugo, and you can use the C2 of Suit Able. It works as well, gives shields and heal your uh, your allies, which is absolutely nice. I recommend Suit Able. I didn't play him here because I found this formation 
they give me the most for me as a free to play but he's built on my account and i use him so many times you can use him in the second lineup instead of uh let's say uh rose but it, your damage will decrease a little bit since rose will buff you now on the third lineup or the fourth lineup and final lineup i'm using gormagala ken you can replace him as well with any trigger character so of course here you can remove chun li and you can play on the third lineup you can play somebody else like Kami and Vega, which is more and more better because you can start with them C1 from uh, Dalsim, C2 from Summer Yang, and then C3 from Bison two times. Then you can start with them C1 from Bison, C2 from uh, Summer Yang, and C3 from Dalsim. They will deal incredible damage. It will buff your, uh, your damages a lot and a lot because this event is all about trigger characters and it works very fine. Now, here you can replace Gormagala Ken on the first lineup with Eva Ryu, with uh, any trigger character, literally. The new Jury, you can use uh, Summer Ibuki, she works as well. Any trigger character that you might think of or you have built, you can use them here. If you have Gormagala Ken, give it a try. He deals insane amount of damage and buffs your team as well. So we start with Viper, Elena, Fashion Blanca, then Viper, and that's how the lineup goes until the end of the battle. And uh, with uh, some certain retries, you don't need retries, it's also stable from 400 million to 500 million, it's always the same range. So as you see, all of these teams deal between 400 to 500 million with uh, the buffs on the battle last that we have, except uh, a Vega team, if you're lucky, you will get to 800 million if they survive more with the Goken and with the uh, Summer Elena healings and the uh, Able shields. Now you can use Suit Able here, remember that. It's always recommended if you have him. Now let's go and check the replays for these lineups and how we did with that. So here we go. First lineup. Let me go to X4. I'll be explaining. So here at the third time that Athlete Chun Li goes back, uh, when she flips back, you start your combo meter. So we have Kami and Vega AX. So she starts at like 58 or yeah, 58. So we start with. Uh, Rose, uh, three poison, Rose, then uh, fire Aedon. Then we go with Rich Honda, three poison, Rose, then fire Aedon until the end of the battle. And as you see, the damage is ramp up. I use Virgil EX just to keep me alive here before uh, Flame Chun Li kills everybody else, which is a good call. Now, uh, if you tell me there's something else that you can use, yeah, probably some healing, some shieldings can help you survive this, but it doesn't work that well. Uh, uh, Virgil EX comes here in clutch so if you don't have it you might not reach similar numbers as players that have it unless you have Flame Chun which will buff your damages even before uh, you get the one shot from uh, Flame Chun. So the second lineup which is the lineup that I like a lot and I'm building Goken. I'm building Rich Honda right now but I will build, be building Goken or Virgil. I didn't think about who's gonna be next. So also we wait until she does her backflip or goes to 51 seconds something like that so I can do the entire combos and don't miss out on my combo meter. So I wait she backflips and I start of course after she backflips. I use some EX moves. Any EX move that buffs your damages use that and I have the healing one. Uh, the Sakura one because I want to heal if I go low on HP such I did because Vega always goes low on HP And I want to keep myself surviving because of the one shot that I will get Like here absolutely obliterate me now I start with Abel another one because I'm trying to stall as much as possible So we tick from bleed Absolutely perfect was going to Vega did a lot of damage summer Elena did decent amount of damage for a trigger healer Which is really good the third lineup. Now, as you see, combined we did a lot of damage with Bison exploding, with Chun-Li doing her click kicks. Now, I'm using on Bison, Kami. Kami drops in, does some uh, armor break, and Chun-Li can deal even more damage. And she gives you combo meter. This is why I use Chun-Li with this team. Uh, I didn't, I never thought about it before. I don't know why I was brain dead, but now I was like, I need combo meter. Let me use Chun-Li and the C2 of, uh, of Summer Yang. And this might work. This just might work. And this is what we did. So at the start, I will decrease it a little bit. I keep waiting. He drops off his leg. You have 10 seconds or 15 seconds before it fades away. But the mark is when auto attack from Chun Li happens. I start with her super and I use the C1 of Dawson. I always wait for that. When auto attack from Chun Li, you can go back and do your combos. So we wait, we wait, we wait, and we use our C1, C2, C3. So you keep waiting for that. Now I wait until Dalsim hits. Now he have 15 stacks maxed right now. Now Chun-Li attacks and we go. 
And every time she crits, you get a combo meter, which is absolutely good. So Chun-Li does him on his leg, we're still waiting. Now Summer Yang hits uh, the enemy and give, the, give us some combo meter. And Chun-Li with her C3 and give us combo meter. Now after that, we're gonna start, I think, with Dalsim. Yeah, we start first of all with Dalsim. Summer Yang, we wait a little bit, not too much. And Chun-Li, just to let him stand on his legs so he doesn't lose his attacks or his stacks. And we start with him. Then Chun-Li immediately, because he's standing on his leg anyway, because we didn't start with him. Summer Yang, then Chun-Li, then Dalsim. And then we start with Dalsim. Summer Yang, Chun-Li, Dalsim, because we know that he will die next. But we didn't actually, which was really good. It gave us another combo meter. I started with Chun Li, Summer Yang, Chun Li, because I don't want to wait for him to get down from his leg so I don't miss on the damages. And that's what happened. We get one chop, one tap at the end of the, uh, the, the, the buzzer, and that was absolutely fantastic. Now, let's go and check the fourth lineup and the last lineup, which is the Gormagala Ken with Viper. Now, as you see, Fashion Blanca did a amount of damage, Gormagala da Ken did some amount of damage, Elena will deal zero damage, of course, she's here for healing, and that's the result that we get, Viper carried here. Now, if I have somebody better than Viper, if I uh, AOE character, I would use them. If I have Oni, I would play Oni instead of Viper, so uh, or instead of Fashion Blanca uh, or Viper, one of them could work. Now, why, why would I keep Viper? Because when I go low in HP, she will give the shields and give me combo meter to continue doing my rotations. If you want to play Fashion Blanca, he will give you Wildfire and add bonuses damage, which is absolutely good. Both of their C2, uh, Viper and Fashion Blanca, deals a lot of amount of damage. So let's go and watch this. And of course, I also wait for her to do her backflip, then I continue my rotation. So I start with the drones immediately, so I get more combo meter, because my lineup is slower than their lineup. I have fast chant, of course, on Summer Elena. I don't put it on Gorma Galakan anytime, anymore. And I wait for the 51 second, I think, or 55. I start with her, C1 from Fashion Blanca this time, C2 from Summer Elena, or from Elena, C3 from Viper, because I have the HP at the start, it's not so much damage. Then I go with Viper, Elena, Fashion Blanca, Viper until the end of the battle. I keep doing that. Of course, when uh, somebody dies, I start with Viper, then the C1 of uh, Fashion Blanca, C2 from Viper, and that's how it ended. It was a good run, actually, decent run. Now, can you do better? Of course, you can do better. With retries, some RNG with the crit rates, with the, so your crit damage will deal even more. These were the lineups. It put me in the top 10, absolutely good for our uh, server right now, for our guild. Now, of course, there's a lot of players that didn't play yet. We're waiting for T2. But as I said, this is good, actually. For the entire guild, that's a good thing to have somebody in the top 10. And for you to score in the top 50, that's the most important thing. Because if you score in the top 50, your rewards will be these, which are the... Where is the top 50? Here we go. In the top 50, the 10. Uh, scrolls if in the top 10 you're gonna get 12 it's not that big of a deal but you aim for the top 50 and then try to improve your numbers to get to the top 10 that's my advice to you and yeah i'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fly. Time to fly.